Hello, this is Dustin with Pro AV School. Today I just wanted to go through a couple things with Visio for you and try to give you some uh, additional pointers that I've found through playing with it and through researching some, some things to make my life easier. One of the first things I've seen, um, this is just a new drawing here, you got to be on the pointer tool, but if you hold down left control and shift and then use your right mouse button, you can pan around the drawing just like you can in AutoCAD. Um, this isn't really an easily documented feature, but I've found that it really speeds me up. Uh, what I wanted to show you today was connection points. So I'm just going to do a very simple example. I'm going to draw a box. Um, I'm going to eliminate the shadow. And I'm going to put some text for inputs. Let's go input 1, input 2. I'm going to select all of those. I'm going to align them to the top and to the left. That way I can add more if I want, even now or in the future, whatever, and it doesn't move around. Um, now connection points. You have to go under view, and there's this section here that says connection points. That's got to be selected. Now when you click this X button, you click on this box, I guess, and you click the X button, it's going to show you the connection points. In this case, there are none. If I hold down Control, you can see I, it snaps along the side. So I'm going to add a point here, point here, and a point here. Now I'm going to take this whole block just to speed things up a bit. I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to resize it a bit here. And because of the way I built this block, I can actually just go like this, change these to output. The other ones don't really matter for purposes of this example. Now you can see these connection points are here. I'm just going to leave those for now. I'm going to click here. If you zoom in, your grid gets more precise. So I'm going to go there. Now I deselected everything. Now with my connector tool, you see it jumps to these points. So I can connect from there to there. And if I wanted to, I could give my line a style with... Um, with an arrow like that. Now the neat thing about this is once you've got connection points you can rearrange your blocks and all your inputs and outputs track. So I'm just going to go and finish up this example here. If you want to do properties for multiple lines, all you need to do is select them. Hold down Shift, select the next one, and I'll go Line, and I can go and change those. I can also select over top of the lines. Say I want to make them all a certain color, so I can make them all red, and then I can also make them a lot thicker. And the last thing I want to show you is creating um, groups of objects. Now right now if you click here and you move it, it's moving your points but it kind of got screwed up there. So I'm just going to control Z undo that. Um, if I select over top of here, right click, go group, and now there's a group. Now you can click anywhere and it moves everything. A very simple way without even dealing with blocks and stuff like that. I can copy and paste that. If I want to edit this one, I can go and right click, go group, open my group, change the name, for example, exit out of that, and you see it only changed the one instance. Um, now it also, I think it undid the group for some reason, but you can easily just go in there and group it again. Now also when you're in the group, you can see these connection points again and I can go in here and obviously I could right align things since those are supposed to be on the right side. Next of that and we are good. For more help with audiovisual system design or troubleshooting, please go to proavschool.com and sign up for our newsletter. Thanks.